All right, let's jump into the questions. Actually, we had a question come in uh, beforehand, so let me post this. Okay, bear with me one second. Here we go. All right, question, Jonathan. I heard another dating coach say, men need space to chase you. Does that really work? Men need space to chase you. Um, does that really work? I love this question. And I was listening, I've heard this from many dating coaches, both men and women alike, talking about you need to create space within, a, uh, within the dynamic of man to create um, a level of doubt on your part. Let me repeat that, to create a level of doubt on your part that you're actually interested in them and that a man will chase you when there's that space, when there's that tension, when you're playing hard to get. In fact, the book, The Rules, if you've ever heard the book, The Rules, it's all based on the idea of playing hard to get as a uh, technique to attract a man. Here's what I have to say to all that. Fucking bullshit. Bullshit. Playing games never, ever, 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 ever works in the long run. Folks, here's the problem with this notion of creating space to create tension so he chases you or pursues you. Okay. Now, here's a couple things you must know. So stick around here for a second. First off, avoidant personality men. People have what's known as avoidant love attachment. If you're not familiar with the book Attached by Amir Levine or Rachel Heller, I highly recommend checking this out. The book Attached, okay, talks about three attachment styles, anxious, avoidant, and secure. Let me repeat that, anxious, avoidant, secure. So if you have a man who has an avoidant personality type and you're playing hard to get, and it's the early stages of a relationship, Here's what's going to happen. He will temporarily chase you to hook you, and then he'll go back to his default of being avoidant. What that means is it's almost a, a, akin to being emotionally unavailable. So while it might temporarily hook him, he's going to go back to his de default unless you have to continually create space, not after you, once you're in a relationship with him, you're going to have to continually create tension. Otherwise he's gone. Okay. Now here's the other thing. If it's an emotionally needy guy, he'll chase you. But let me tell you something. He's going to be so needy. You're not going to be attracted to that. If he's chasing you, the problem with this, this particular type of advice, it requires you to constantly be playing a game to create, to create a healthy, happy relationship with someone. And I am all against playing games. This is why I continually recommend the book, If the Buddha Dated, If the Buddha Dated. This is a great book to connect at a heart-centered spiritual way with a guy that has nothing to do with game playing. The game playing techniques. By the way, I've heard dating coaches say, you know, take a go out with your girlfriends and go out of town that will make him miss you folks a guy could temporarily miss you and want to have you but that doesn't necessarily mean he wants to be in relationship with you full term the healthier way to approach a relationship is not using the space technique or playing hard to get technique i recommend something different and that is the four a's attention affection appreciation and acceptance, attention, affection, appreciation, acceptance. And if you need some help learning this, I highly, highly, highly recommend the book by Barbara DeAngelis called Making Love All the Time. These are tried and true, healthy, healthy, healthy ways to create a bond between men and women. And ladies, let me just tell you this. I know you love the idea that men are the leaders of the relationship and all you have to do is sit back in your feminine energy and he will just naturally claim you. <laughs> Folks, let me tell you something. It's not about leaning back. It's about leaning into your sovereignty, your self-worth, your self-esteem, your self-confidence. Coming back to my book, What the Heck is Self-Love Anyway? Links below to all the books I recommend. Folks, I want to encourage you to lean into your empowered, sovereign self instead of having to use game-playing techniques. Because, listen, it's good to miss someone a little bit. 
when you're intentionally creating tension so they miss you, that will temporarily work, but not for the long run. And I want you to have a healthy, happy, long-term relationship. So again, I invite you to look at this dynamic from the eyes of what would love do and how would love respond? And you know what love does and what love responds? It invites everybody to be vulnerable, authentic, and transparent. I'm going to repeat that, vulnerable, authentic, and transparent. That is how we're going to build healthier, happier relationships. And that's, again, why I continually recommend the book, Eight Dates by Dr. John and Julie Gottman. Because if you want to have a healthy, happy relationship, it's time to be an adult in relationship. And I'm going to wrap up this one segment with another book you should check out, How to Be an Adult in Relationship. All right, we covered a lot. So going back to the original question, should you... you use space to get a guy to really chase you? Hell no. No, no, no. All right. Does that make sense? All right. hope it does. Thanks for that question. I really appreciate it. All right. 